We will cover creating new compositions in your OPAS database, and in an effort to keep each video to a reasonable length, we're going to divide the process into separate videos. This first one will look at creating the work, its title, and instrumentation. Other videos cover movements, durations, and other composition details. And here is the work we will be creating in OPAS. It is the Avner Dorman Violin Concerto. What you're looking at here is the Daniels Orchestral Music Online entry, and we chose this work simply because it has a little bit of everything that we want to demonstrate. So back to OPAS we go. Uh, we're going to open the works area. Works area opens in the search mode, which is convenient because my personal bias is to start each work creation by checking to make sure that the composition isn't already in OPAS, just under a different name or something. So I search for the composer, I press the enter key, and I only have one work by that composer, and it's not the violin concerto, so I can go ahead and create my new work. We click the new icon in the lower right hand corner. The tab now says new record, the fields are white and ready for input, so I go ahead and first type the name of the composer, and after the composer, we put in as many of the titles as my organization uses. At the very least, we must have a master title. And this tends to be a more formal title, so I will put in Concerto, comma, Violin, the way it appears in the Daniels. And the print title is the way I want this work to appear whenever I print a program, a roster, when I look at this on the web, and so on. And Mr. Dorman, calls the work Violin Concerto, so that's what we'll put here. Before we go to alternate title, I'm going to leave this right where it is and go one tab to the left and use this Beethoven here as an example of the way the master and print titles tend to differ for more standard or classical repertoire. You can see that the master title tends to be the genre of the piece, Concerto, Symphony, or the name of the opera, followed by the instrument and so on. This is a more formal catalog title. We use the Daniels catalog title. Your librarians will set the syntax and protocols used by your organization. And you can see the print title is commonly much longer. And beneath it is the alternate title. In the United States, we tend to use the alternate title mostly for abbreviations. If we're running a rehearsal order or a calendar where space is tight, we want a short title, and that's what we use the alternate for. You could equally use it for foreign language translations or anything else your organization needs. And just one last uh, example of the power of the master title being a very consistent. If in the list pane I sort by master title and type NUTC for Nutcracker, you can see if the master title is kept in a strict syntax, it's easy to see all the excerpts of a work grouped by its title. So we'll go back one tab to the right for the new record, the Dorman Violin Concerto, and even though Violin Concerto is pretty short, I'll just go ahead and type an abbreviation here for the sake of completeness. I will go ahead now and click the Save icon in the lower right hand corner, and the work is created. It's added to my list pane at the bottom, and this is now a valid composition. While it doesn't have a lot of useful information, it's enough that I can now put this on any rehearsal or concert. Each composition record needs the composer and the master title. So now let's look at instrumentation. I go to the instrumentation screen, and again I'll pull up the composition from the Daniel so you can see the instrumentation we're going to enter. I personally start with putting in all the numbers, and then I go back and put in my doublings and my percussion details and so forth. So you can see we have percussion uh, instrumentation numbers along the top and down the side. It doesn't matter which one you enter. They read from each other and if I type a 2 here the software automatically adds it there and vice versa. So now I just go ahead and enter in my instrumentation numbers and the instrumentation numbers are in. Now I can go back and put in the doublings and the doubling information goes into this text field to the right of the instrumentation number. The first one I have is for flutes. And we understand there are regional and national differences between how doublings are represented. In the States, we use the Daniels Convention, but use whatever your orchestra is used to, just be consistent. So here in America, again, the slash means a doubling, 
and a comma would mean a dedicated part. So if I were to come to clarinet and type 1, comma, BCL, that would mean the first person plays first clarinet, the second person plays bass exclusively. However, in this piece, it is a doubling, so I do 1, comma, 2, slash, bass clarinet, and that means the second clarinetist doubles on bass. Now strings. Strings, for the most part, are a yes or no proposition. And if the piece calls for strings, as in the Daniels, we just type STR. The number of strings used is a function of the concert itself. You may use a different complement each time you play the work. If the composer calls for a certain string count, you will put that here. But for the most part, we just put STR there, or you will also see often no strings for works that use that. So STR for strings, and at this point I'm going to save, and my instrumentation is in place. Now I'm ready for my details. And I'll slide the work back here so you can see. Here's my percussion list. And I have three percussionists playing those instruments. And here's how we represent that. So the three here in percussion is the number of percussionists, the number of people. The instruments they play are in this grid. And we assign the percussion instruments to a grid, first so you don't have to type them over and over again, and secondly so that when different works are on a concert, we can look at each grid and put together a composite percussion list for that concert or even for the entire season. So we add the percussion by clicking the green plus, the software gives us a list of percussion instruments. I type to hop down to suspended symbol and add it via the add button or enter key or by double clicking the name of the instrument. And now I just need to go through that percussion list and make sure everything else is in there. And those are in. And now a quick word about the order and the number column in this percussion grid. The order can be one for everything as it is here. And when that's the case, the software will sort your instruments alphabetically. If you want your percussion in a certain order number, just swipe your mouse and type the number you want. You can also group order numbers if you want to indicate which person plays first, second, and third percussion. So I can group all number ones together and then create a set of twos for my second percussionist and so on and so forth. I'll change those back. Now the number. The number of course is the quantity used and I'll slide this back so you can see. In the Dorman you can see we have three tom-tom and five wood block. So in my percussion list here I indicate that the tom-tom number is three and the wood block are five and now my percussion list is set. We do something very similar with keyboard and you can see piano and harpsichord are played by one person. So Again, we have one person here. The number of keyboardists is one, and the instruments that they play are here. So I will add harpsichord, and I will add piano, and you can, if you want, indicate here, for example, uh, doubles piano, if you want that note. And at this point, I save, and my instrumentation is complete. As you can see down in the list pane, we have the summary, we have the details in the grids, and I'm done. The last thing you may want to do is include any instrumentation notes. And again, if we slide this over, we can see the note from the Daniels. I will just swipe that in my web browser, hold down the control key, click, drag, and add that note. So the composition is in there with its instrumentation, and in other videos, we'll look at entering other details for this piece of music.